In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an automated step in Reela.app. And this is the second most important thing to be able to do in the product. The first most important thing is setting up your trigger, which every workflow starts with, and I have another video about that. But once you have your trigger set up, you need to do something. So in this example, I have an email received trigger, meaning every time I get a new email, this workflow is going to run. And what I want to do now is add the step of what will happen after that trigger fires. And you can see that we have a few different types of steps. There are AI steps, which may involve applying some smart logic. We have some utility steps, which may involve transforming data. We have some human in the loop steps, which may involve asking a colleague or yourself for input before proceeding. And I'll have subsequent videos on all of those. But the most common type of step by far is an action in another app. And in this case, the simplest thing I want to do is just automatically reply to that message in Gmail with an acknowledgement that I received the message. So to do that, I'm going to navigate into the Gmail menu. I'm going to select reply. And here's what's really cool. In the automated steps, you can automatically reference the content of your trigger. So in this case, the email I want to reply to is the email from step one, which was the trigger. And I want to say hi. And this is where I want to reference the first name of the sender of the email. I can go into this data menu and I can reference all of the information from the triggering email. In this case, I want to get the first name of the sender. And then I can say something like, thanks so much for your email. I'll reply soon. And so this is obviously a pretty contrived example. I'm not going to set this up for every single email. But what's critical here is that it shows you how you can take the information from your trigger and use that in a subsequent automation, either within the same product, in this case, like in Gmail, or you can take the data from that trigger and do something else with it, like write a row to a spreadsheet or update your CRM. I hope you find that useful. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments.